Hi, this is Lene with Bloom Feather Studio, and today I thought we could do something really fun and paint this butterfly together. Isn't that beautiful? Um, let me show you the supplies you're going to need. Uh, first of all, the colors are um, Horizon Blue, Lemon Yellow, and I have a neutral tint that I'm going to use instead of black. Well, it is black. Um, you'll see. Um, and then I'm going to use my permanent rose. But the important thing is that you choose the colors that you really like. Aside from the black, I think it's important to have a bright, uh, warm color like yellow. So choose your favorite yellow, your favorite uh, other colors to complement that. And here's what they look swatched out. So I've got the permanent rose, lemon yellow, horizon blue. And you see how this neutral tint is very much um, looks like a black. Okay. Uh, and then for my brushes, they're also not super important what kind of brush you use. Just like a nice uh, round brush with a tip on it. This is a silver black velvet number six round brush. And then I just uh, used my wedge brush a little bit, but this also is, it's not important. Maybe if you have a big flat brush or something just to add water or move things around a little bit. And I will use um, just at the beginning uh, when I put a lot of water on, I might use a, this brush. Okay, this is a three-quarter inch Princeton, uh, Princeton Oval Wash. Okay, and I also use a little bit of my white, my um, Dr. P.H. Martin's Pen White. But whatever white you have, if you want to add a little bit of sparkle to it and lighten it up a bit like I did here, you can go ahead and use some white and just kind of spray it on your butterfly. All right, so let's get started. For my paper, I'm using Art & Fly 100% cotton watercolor. Um, I don't think it's important what you use, just use your favorite watercolor pad. Okay, so for me, I chose this butterfly right here. I don't know what kind it is, but I thought it was really beautiful, uh, the pattern on it, and I like the circles. And so I went ahead and I uh, drew a butterfly similar to this and then I cut it out so I just kind of drew a pattern for what I want to paint I do this often because I when I'm learning something new or I'm trying something new I don't want to take the time to redraw over and over so I'll just draw it and I'll cut it out and that way I can uh, loosely trace around it each time and not have to spend a lot of time on it Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this template that I drew of a butterfly and I'm just going to go ahead and start tracing around it really lightly. I don't have to follow it exactly, but um, I just want to get it centered on the page and a good idea of how I'm going to paint this. So, line here, come around here. and then up into here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and flip this around just because it's not quite symmetrical. So I'm gonna flip it around to do the other side. So right about there, just gonna kinda eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. And then go ahead and look at this here. Put the center of it in. Something like that. Okay, 
So now I have my rough shape of my butterfly. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw in uh, these parts here and draw in the circles. So do you see I have circles around here? One, two, three, four, five, six of them here, six of them here, and then five down here. Okay, so I'm going to do that off camera and then I'll turn the camera back on. Okay, now that I have it drawn to my satisfaction, I'm going to go ahead and just do a little bit of spraying around and then I'm going to put some color in for the background. Just kind of spray it around and then I'm going to go ahead and take some pink for me. You can do whatever color you want and I'm just going to drop some color in and spread it around. I'm going to do a little splattering. I like that. I'm going to do a little more splattering. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and add in some, a little bit of yellow. Just um, drop it in. And Kind of along the edges of the butterfly and then also come up here and then also I'm going to grab some of the blue and add that in as well and then I'm going to grab some clean water Help that spread out a little bit. Okay. There's a lot of water in the middle, so I'm just going to pull it out a little bit. Here's where I'm going to add in some very dark color. So here's the color. Looks like that. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in the middle, right here where the middle part of the butterfly is. And just let it spread around. And expand a little bit into the other colors. If you have any puddles, you can go ahead and dab them out gently. So I'm going to dab out the puddles here and just kind of let that flow a little bit. And then I'm going to help this spread a little bit by pulling it out from the center just adding more black to the middle there we go okay Thank you. 
Okay, now I'm gonna start working on the edges. And in order to do that, I have to let it dry a little bit. I think what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna use my masking fluid here and I'm gonna mask out all these little circles so I don't accidentally cover them over. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry first and then, um, and then I will uh, mask out these circles. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my masking fluid, open it up, and I'm gonna use my dedicated paintbrush for masking fluid. It's um, not a nice one. So I use it for the fluid anytime I wanna paint some fluid on. So, and I'm just gonna go ahead and go through these and mask them out. And then once this is finished, I am gonna wait for this to completely dry, again, the masking fluid, and then I will move on to painting the outline of the butterfly. Okay, now the butterfly is dry, and I'm gonna go ahead and spray it a little bit because um, I want like a soft, misty look. I'm gonna go ahead and take my black, I mix it with a little bit of blue and it has some of the um, pink in it too. So it's not just a straight black. I'm gonna go ahead to the outside here and I'm just gonna start on the wings. Coming down here to this wing here. Just going right over those circles that I masked out. Okay. All right, so now here we go. And on the inside, I'm gonna just make sure you can see the scalloped edge here. Even though I want it to kind of fade into the rest of the wing, that way. Pull some of this black here. Okay. Just gonna dry it off a little bit here with my paper towel. Let this fade out, dry it off again. Okay. Okay, now we've got a wing that comes up here. Just like that. That's a little sharp, so I'm gonna fade it on either side by kind of using a damp brush. Actually put some pink right here on the edge. Okay, 
Now to the other side, and I'm going to try and kind of match it up a little bit. So I'm going to start here. Come down. Like that. Come in here for the wing. Grab some more black. Go right over your circles that you masked out. Okay, come back over here and I'm just gonna do that. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna come up here like this. There we go. Okay, and now I'm gonna try and define the middle a little bit more. So this top part here is important. And then I'm going to kind of do some uh, horizontal lines here for the body. Maybe right here. And then it, maybe a few more down here, like to find the end of it a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and come out here for the antenna. Make it a little thicker on the end. Oops. There we go. That's a little too thick. So trying to make it thin. <laughs> That's okay. And then this side too. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over here with the wings. And then on the other side. Like that. And then, rinsing off my brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and soften these lines a little bit. So I'm rinsing my brush off, drying it on my paper towel a little bit, and letting it pull out some color here. I'm gonna add, just go ahead and add some other colors. So we used pink, I'm gonna go ahead and put some pink here. Just kind of let it flow a little bit. So grab some water and just kind of let it and then just spray some water around. So it's not 
quite so defined. Just gonna wet it a little bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get some pink on my brush and just kind of flick it on both sides. There we go. Okay, grab some blue, do the same thing, but towards the middle. There we go. Now, I think I might do, grab some white. So I'm gonna use some, what white am I gonna use? I have some of this pen white. I'm gonna go ahead and put them on my brush. So I have it on my brush and then just kind of flick it around so it Make some white marks. It's just looking a little heavy. Okay, now I'm gonna rinse my brush off, rinse all that white off. I'm gonna start pulling, so I like how this one has, I don't know if you can see this, but has like lines that I pulled toward the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm not going to have anything on my brush unless I need to. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have all the lines kind of be meet right here. So I'm going to go ahead and go like that all the way up. So I might actually put a little black on. So I'm going to start here and just pull up like this. like a really faint black line or whatever color it pulls out so it can pull some of the pink here so I'm gonna go to see how I made this scallop right here right so this line will start at the tip of this part of the scallop and this one at the tip of this part And I just grabbed a lot of black there. I'm going to probably fade that out a little bit. So I'm going to soften that up a little bit. So remember, use um, just a damp brush, not a lot of water on it and just take it and soften it up. Maybe add a little bit of a different color rather than black. So maybe take some of the blue. Pull that out a little bit. Go ahead and use my paper towel. There we go. Okay. All right now I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to do the same thing. So this one isn't as clearly defined. So I'm going to go ahead and define it a little bit here. Still pretty damp from for me. Okay, and then I'll pull it in. When that happens to have a lot of black on it, but I kind of like it, so I think I'm going to leave it. Okay, and then the next one, trying to match. So this one was right about here. So I'll go ahead and pull in right about here to find that scallop a little bit. Make 
make sure they look even on both sides. I'm going to grab out some color here. Get some blue. There. Okay. And then I like the way the blue looks. Grab some more. Maybe I'm going to grab a little bit of pink this time. Come in. So we had this line, this line. So right about here. is still really damp for me right here so adding in some color pull it in a little too much I'm actually gonna take my paper towel and just I'm gonna take a fresh one here just stab this. Okay. And then one more line, I think. One, two, three, and then four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Like that. Okay. I'm going to just spot a little bit of blue here. Now, to the bottom ones, same thing. I'm going to go ahead and pull up some lines. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, okay. Let's do one here. Fix this so it kind of matches a little bit here. Okay. More black there. There we go. And then since I have these circles masked out, I'm going to make sure there's color around them. So for this one, put a little color there. I use the pink. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and flick some yellow. Click in some yellow here. Okay. Let me add some yellow here. Where I'm finding spots where it's still a little bit wet to add some yellow. Maybe on either side of the wings.
rinse off my brush, a little bit of clear water. Okay, now I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna take off the masking fluid. I'm just gonna make sure this looks even here. Yeah, and nice and dark. I'm just gonna dot, dot in some black here. It's still very wet for me, so. Put some black lines here. Okay, now I'm gonna let this dry. Okay, as it's drying, I'm realizing that I'm losing some of the lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in and add um, just some more color. And I'm gonna kind of match up what's going on. So right here is yellow. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some yellow on my brush and pull it in over these lines here. I'm gonna dry off in the middle here with my paper towel. Okay, and then right there, yellow here, there. that and then this is really kind of more dark over here so I might splatter in some more yellow right here yeah oops I did not want to do that over the black so I'm going to go ahead and get that out of there You got some some pink or maybe blue. I'm gonna add some blue here. Rinsing my brush, fade this out a little bit. Okay, so just keep playing with it. Okay, so now that it is completely dry, I don't know if you noticed, but I did end up adding some, like I put some water here, 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 there, and I just added a little bit more paint to kind of make the butterfly jump out. Um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and rub off these circles that I made out of masking fluid. Just rub all the masking fluid out. Okay, here it is. Um, it is all finished. The final result looks like this. It's really beautiful. You can use it for a print or maybe a card. Uh, you can frame it and hang it up on your wall if you want. All right, 
Thanks so much for watching. Let me know how you do. If you try this, you can tag me on Instagram at Studio. I would love to see what you come up with. Have a great day. Bye.